Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says that Mac has 200 white and black horses on his farm. The ratio of the number of black horses to the number of white horses is 2 to 3. Find the number of white horses on Mac's farm. Okay, so Mac has 200 either white or black horses. Okay, so he has, let's say that this is his farm. Okay, he has on the farm 200 horses, which are either white. Okay, so some of them are white and some of them are black. Okay, so he has either black or white horses and they are all together 200 in number. Now, what else we know is that the horses are in the ratio two to three of black horses to white horses. So for every two black horses on the farm, there are three white horses. Okay, so if we were to arrange this whole lot of 200 horses in another way, then what we would see is that for every two black horses on the farm, there are three white horses. So if you take this whole lot of 200 horses, from here and we arrange them in groups, then what we would see is that for every two black horses in the group, okay, we arrange them in groups of five, then what we would see is that for every two black horses in the group, there are three white horses. So we arrange them in groups of five. Each of these is a group. So if we arrange them in groups of five, then for every two black horses in the group, okay, every two black horses here, 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 there are three white horses. So there'll be three white horses in each group. Now, one thing that we have to find out is how many groups will be there? How many groups of five horses will be there? And what we have to ultimately find out is how many white horses are there on Max Farm. Okay, so these are still 200 horses over here. Now, if I were to make a model diagram out of this, what I would make is I have two black horses. Okay, so I have a group in which there are two black horses and for every two black horses, there are three white horses. So I make this group of two black horses and three white horses. So how many do I have in a group? Well, I have two black horses and I have three white horses. Then in the group, there are five horses, right? But what I know is that on the whole farm, there are 200 horses. So then how many groups will I need? Well, if this is group number one, okay, if this is group number one, then I simply copy and paste it a few times. This is group number two. That makes a total of 10 horses. If I add another group, then there are 15 horses, another group, there are 20 horses, and so on and so forth. Then what I have to find is how many groups in all will be there. So... If this is group number one, this is group number two, this is group number three, this is group number four, and so on, then this one over here would be group number what? Well, let's find out. So what we know is that in all, there are 200 horses. Okay, so if there are 200 horses and each group has got five horses, then what can you tell about the number of groups that will be there? Well, it's simply 200 horses divided by five. So we have 200 horses divided by five and that gives us 40. So this means that there are 40 groups in all. So this last group over here will be group number 40. So what this is telling us is that if this is group number one, this is group number two, this is group number three, four, five, six, and so on, then in all there will be 40 groups, each with two black horses and three white horses, right? That's what our calculation shows here. So if there are 40 groups, each with two black horses and three white horses, then what can you tell about the number of white horses on the farm? Well, the total number of white horses would simply be 40 groups, each group containing three white horses. Then the total number of white horses would be 40 times three, which is 120. So the total number of white horses on Max farm is 120. Well, there's another way of solving this problem. Okay, so let me show you that. Let me erase some of this over here. Now, we have the ratio of black horses to white horses as 2 to 3. Okay, now this can also mean that if we take this whole farm all over again, this whole farm, okay, so we make this whole farm all over again over here. And if we 
Now divide the black horses and the white horses into some sets. Okay, so let's put them into some sets. Then what this ratio 2 to 3 tells us is that if the whole lot of black horses can be divided into two sets, then the whole lot of white horses can be divided into three sets. So if we take all these black horses from here and we put them into two sets, okay, two sets of the same size. This is important. All these sets over here that I'm making will be of the same size, which means they will be the same number of horses in each of these sets. Okay, so if uh, I put say, I don't know how many I have. I have eight horses here, but there'll be more than eight anyway. So if I can put all the black horses on the farm into two sets, then I will be able to put all the white horses into three sets. And each of these sets should be of the same size. Same size is important, okay? So then what we have on the model is that if we have a set, okay, of this size, say this is a set of uh, some size, then I will have two of these sets, which will be for black horses, which is what this ratio here tells me. So I'll have two sets, which will be for black horses. So this is black horses. Now the white horses would be three units, right? Because for two units of black horses, there are three units of white horses, right? Over here, as we see in this uh, picture over here, so one, two, and three. And these are the white horses. Now, like I said before, the size of each of these units or each of these sets is the same. So this size is the same as this size, which is the same as each of these three sizes. So let's fill in a color, the same for all of these, just to show that these are all of the same size, okay? Now, what we know is there are a total of two hundred horses. So if there are five sets or five units and there are a total of 200 horses, then what can you tell about the size of the set or each unit? Well, if there are 200 horses and there are five units, so that means five units or five sets are equal to 200 horses. So one unit would be equal to 200 divided by five. So 200 divided by five and that's equal to 40. So that's 40 horses. So this one unit over here is equal to 40 horses. So if one unit is equal to 40 horses, then how many white horses are there? The white horses are one, two, and three units. So three units would be equal to three times 40 horses, and that's equal to 120 horses, which is exactly what we had found using the first method. So there are 120 white horses. How about the black horses? Well, the black horses are equal to two units, which means 40 times two, which is 80. So there are 80 black horses. These are 80 and these are 120. And 120 plus 80 is equal to 200. So in all, there are 200 horses. And if the ratio of black horses to white horses is two to three, then that means there are 80 black horses and 120 white horses. Well, that's that about this word problem. Hope you understood it and hope you'll go and solve some other word problems now as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. You can also check out some of the cool features that we've added at this website. Well, that's all for now from me. This is M signing off. Bye-bye.